I want to go over exactly how you can use gradients to create fire designs in Photoshop. Say we want to get a little freaky with the background. Instead of just doing that plain old gradient layer, you can go ahead and go back to the gradient tool. You can use that same thing. Say it's here. And let's make this smaller. Boom. And then we do need a strong base within it. So we need to go from like a crazy color to like, so to white. Something like that. This is pretty cool. So let's go like this for reflective. Let's move this white down a little bit. Move that blue up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and convert this to a smart object. Go to filter liquify same thing as like ice spice but now this time just go crazy for real you can just kind of like boom this up to 100 boom this up like and then just go crazy for real create something crazy but as you can see now you kind of controlling this a little bit better uh, pin the edges you can control like the colors so much better like look how i have so much control it looks like an an ocean or a wave or something like that this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and make a circle layer real quick. Go ahead and just make a circle and then drop that below the gradient and then just go ahead and clip mask this to the circle. Now you can either clip mask this to the outside of the circle or fill the circle in and make sure you fill the circle in. And then for stroke, we don't want no stroke. We don't want no stroke. But boom, you can make it like any part of the circle here. Like that looks pretty cool. That part of the circle looks pretty cool. So grab that, grab this part of the circle, move it down. This one is pretty cool right there. You can make it bigger or smaller. That looks fire. Double click it, bevel and emboss, outer glow, give it some depth. You know what I'm saying? Give it some things so it can it can chrome out a little bit. That's it, y'all. I just kind of wanted to show y'all what y'all could do with that. First, we got to set up the gradient glow layers. So first, we want to start off by creating a new layer inside of our layers. Shift F5. You're going to go ahead and just fill it with black. Select that. Then you're going to create a new blank layer. We're just going to name this layer paint on. Take these two layers, make a group. We're going to call this the glow layer. Now we got to create a gradient map. Automatically it's going to give you white to black. Go ahead and choose the one that you want. Let's just say we just go with the one that we already selected. Click dither. And as you can see, this is all that shows up. But if we were to paint on that layer right now, you will see the our gradient map comes up from the colors that we selected. That looks tough, does it not? Click this layer, it's gonna be set to screen. Let's go ahead and turn this AE on and bring AE underneath everything. Get it out of this group, we're gonna put it on its own group. So what we need to do now is create another group. Click on the group here, we're gonna name this the shoe glow. You're gonna put the painted on layer inside of that. So now we gotta go ahead and control, click on this mask. This is gonna give you a selection of your object and you're gonna click on the shoe layer and then just click this mask button right here. So now that we have all our layers pretty much layered up, we added our mask and everything like that. I couldn't get like this, 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 the, the gradient, like that fadeaway look away. So since everything is set to screen, Go ahead and move this up and add this black stop. You got to add the black stop because that will make everything disappear because it's set to screen. We got to play with this inverse layer here. We already created our, our mask for the shoe. So now the shoe is selected and, and not everything else. So if we click on this, this means everything else outside of the shoe is selected. We're going to go ahead and inverse that back to its original layer. And now let's just start painting on the inside of the shoe. My opacity is going to be at 85. My flow is going to be at 70. Make sure you're on this paint on layer. Depending on how strong it is, this is the glow that you're going to be getting. So right now, I just want to do a nice like soft glow around the edges. I did get a new tablet, y'all. So I'll do the unboxing and then a pin tutorial later. But just want to... Let y'all know if y'all wanted to go real thin around the sides, you could. 
and give it that nice glow. But for us, we're going to just create this nice medium sized brush and then just start hitting everything on the sides. Oops. And that gives that nice a glow already. So that's pretty far, not gonna lie. So now what I would do is take both of these Control J. This is the copy. Let's call this show Shoe Glow Outer. Click on this, Control I, inverse it. Delete this paint on layer and then create a new layer inside of it. Name this paint on two, right? Now, same thing. Look at that, crazy. If we want to create another like gradient for real, we could. So, or if we want to create like another like reflective gradient, we could. If you want to make that smaller like that, increase this a little bit and then just hit a nice glow on there. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that looks fire. And then make sure this dither is selected because sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't give you that nice smooth thing. As you can see, smooth, perpetual, linear, classic, smooth stripes. And let's just start creating some nice glows. So I turn the thing up just so when it hits it, it's just, just as light. So, boom. And this is all with the glow. So say you wanna paint this back on here, get, get back in there, make it smaller, turn the opacity where it's at, turn the opacity all the way up. And then that's when you start getting in them details right there. Nice strong on the white. And this is all with one brush. You know, you just changing opacity and uh flows. But I just want to be able to show you guys whoops, the possibilities, you know? Now, if for instance we didn't like all the blues and all that stuff that it had going, you can literally go in there by clicking on your gradient map, double clicking that, this will come up and then you can change these main colors. If we want to make these colors red, for instance, green, you know what I'm saying? The green kind of looked tough too. Like, you know what I'm saying? If we turn this to green, blue, turn that to like a greenish, you know what I'm saying? Light skin blue. You feel me? Like an alien shoe type thing. You feel me? These probably about to would have worked better with the with the Lavars. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lavars. I said the Lamellos. My bad, y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. But anyways, like let's go in here. Let's just mess around. If it's not too light, maybe it needs to be lighter. You know what I'm saying? Where the fall off is happening, the white is too crazy. Maybe we make it a little bit blacker. And then this is how you kind of control the glow aspect. You control how, how strong the glow is going, the direction of the glow. It, it should be a little bit more white, give it a little bit more gray. Should I dial it back a little bit? And then just play with it like this. Oops. So if you move it, there goes your outline of your shoe right there. If you want to move something, you have to move all the mass layers. So everything moves how you want it to, to go. And then double click the layer styles. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna set it to color overlay. Click this button. If it doesn't have color overlay already selected, we're just gonna, it's already at 50% gray. So we're just gonna keep it as is. Go to bevel and emboss. We need to get like a chromey type of vibe. So just click on here and then just Follow my settings after I input them. I'll keep them on screen for a little bit. Go ahead, copy these settings down. We're gonna move over to contour. We're gonna do a nice little cone. But we want the range to be like, good, like, mm, that's cool right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and add satin into there. Go ahead, click satin. 
and then go to multiply. We're gonna fill this with 50% gray as well, like we did before. Switch the angle up a little bit. And then as you can see, the satin is affecting all that was within it. Switch this to linear. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our first gradient inside of the text that we have here. So what we're gonna do is go back to the gradient tool. We're gonna go, I have some Chrome gradients that I got offline. So we just wanna try to find some cool looking Chrome type vibes. I like this. Let's go with the reflected type of vibe here. Convert this to a smart object. And then we're gonna do what we did for the, uh, what's her name? Ice Spice. Make sure everything is up at 100, 100, and then just kind of go crazy, bro. Like, create a cool texture. That's what you want. You want cool textures out of this. Then you're gonna just clip mask this to the Arctic Fusion. And for some reason, it doesn't pop up like that, so you gotta make this a smart object. And as you can see, Without the clip mask, with the clip mask. Now you can move this clip mask wherever, wherever gets you the best results. I kind of like this right here. Adjust the blending modes for this joint. So I'm not too crazy though, like cool, nice little overlay will work. Turn it down a little bit. You just want enough so it's like enough texture in there. Boom, all right. Now you're gonna create another layer. Layer this white, make this back to all the original stuff. Ooh. Regular soft brush. And then we're just gonna paint white, like a, I don't even know why I'm painting on a shoe. A strong white type of vibe, wherever some pops of light could be at. Make it smaller. Clip this mask to the layer below, label this, put this as linear dodge, color dodge. You could try screen, lighten, linear dodge. Works cool too. Around, turn that uh, effect down a little bit, but if you want, you can adjust. As you can see, the stronger you bring up, it just has a nice effect. I don't even know how to explain it. The, if you bring it down, it's darker. But if you bring it down, like it comes out a little bit better. I don't know how to explain that. You see the vibes. Now that we have pretty much all the text, let's go ahead and create a text group with just the Arctic text. We're gonna call this Arctic text, right? I probably spelled that up, but whatever. That is not my concern right now. All right, so create another gradient map. You're gonna create a clipping mask to the Arctic. Now we wanna go in there and select some more of those Chrome type of text. And this is where it's gonna give you a strong Chrome vibe like as you can see now it's starting to get like a chromey type of you know i don't even know how to explain it that's hard i kind of like that too all right this one's pretty cool so we do need to adjust it a bit we got to get some of these blacks going change some of these to black Click on the outside, just click on the stops and change them to black. You guys can go ahead and copy that. Rock out how you want to rock out. I mess with that joint. I always play with the blending modes just to see how it looks like if I try something else with it. Ooh, I kind of like how lighting looks with it. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, overlay kind of look tough too. Ooh, but let's go with just overlay. I kind of like this overlay. It gives it like a nice chrome type of vibe. And as you can see, if you still want to go ahead and go in there and adjust the gradient fill, you can still go ahead and move this around as, as you please. You can go in there and adjust the gradient too. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, what have you. That's fire right there. And like I said, this linear dodge layer, you can turn this up. You could turn it down, linear dodge, color dodge, screen. Boom. Move that joint around.
You see how it moves? It's just like, that's fire. But I kind of like it how it was, so. Go to linear dodge, go back to linear dodge and put that joint back where, where you had it at. This is looking pretty good, you guys. All right, so let's close this up. Let's add one more gradient map to give it like a bluish hue. So let's add another gradient map. Go ahead and create a clipping mask. And let's just try to use the one that we made earlier. See how it looks. That kind of looks sweet, don't it? No, I got to have black in there. Got to add that black back. Ooh, what happened? That kind of looks sweet, don't it? Probably bring this blue up a little bit. Have the blue going crazy. Have this blue going crazy like a white. Boom, fire. I always play with the blending modes just to see how it looks. Oh my goodness. That looked tough. Overlay. Ooh, the hard light kind of looks kind of tough. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Ooh. Probably that's why we, we should have done. We probably should have done the peach text below. You know what I'm saying, for the blue, but right now I'm trying to keep everything like monochromatic. Ooh, that, yeah, though. That looks kind of tough too still. And then color just kind of colors it. And I kind of like how color looks, so we're just gonna leave it be. Mm -hmm.